Okay, so in this video we're going to do a latitude by Polaris problem. This is actually number eight on worksheet four if you're following along in this uh, ANAV class. So, um, you know, it's, uh, here's the data, and they're asking us to, uh, to determine what the latitude of Polaris is. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put down all the, uh, I'm going to kind of put down all the steps we're going to need to do for this, okay? So um, uh, what we're going to need to do here, one of the first things we're going to need to do is, um, is we're going to have to get the LHA of Aries. So calculate the LHA of Aries, all right? That's going to be the first thing we're going to do, and there's multiple steps for that. After we get the LHA of Aries, then we're going to... Um, uh, then we're going to have to look up corrections, and specifically, it's going to be the A0, the A1, and the A2 corrections on pages, it starts on page 274 of the Nautical Almanac, okay, of the Nautical Almanac, all right? Okay, so to calculate the LHA of Aries, basically what we're going to have to do is a couple things here. So I want to, I'm going to just get my little uh, thing going on here. That's date, body, the latitude, the longitude, okay? And then since this is, uh, 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 I'm going to calculate GMT twice. I'm going to compare the zone time GMT to the chronometer GMT to see if I catch any 12-hour uh, or date changes. So zone time, zone description, GMT, chronometer time, chronometer error, GMT, all right? And I'm going to be comparing the hours of those two, okay? Uh, next, what, once I have my time at GMT, then I'm going to go to the Nautical Almanac, and I'm going to calculate the GHA of Aries for the hour, okay? I'm going to get the GHA of Aries, the minutes and seconds corrections, okay? And then, uh, <coughs> excuse me. That's going to give me the GHA of Aries, and then I'm going to apply my my uh, my longitude, okay? Um, which in this case is going to be actually my uh, I'm going to apply my uh, DR longitude, okay? So uh, longitude, and that is going to be uh, if it's west, I'm going to subtract it. Uh, if it's east, I'm going to add it, and that is going to give me the LHA of Aries, okay? Now, there's a formula that we're going to be doing, and you can find this formula in a couple of different places. One place that you can find it is in uh, Bowditch 2, but the other is the place to for find the formula is on the bottom of page 274. So let's take a quick look at the bottom of page 274 to see what the formula is that we're going to use. So to do that, I'm going to switch to the Nautical Almanac. So here's, a, uh, this is a digital nautical almanac, and if you look at the uh, table of contents, you'll see that on page 274, you've got the uh, pole star uh, uh, tables, okay? And this is where, I'll zoom in here a little bit, okay? This is, uh, to enter this table, I'm going to need the LHA of Aries, so that's why we're going to be calculating it. But if you go down to the bottom of the table, there'll be this paragraph down there, and here is the formula. Latitude is apparent altitude, which corrected for refraction. That's basically HO. So latitude is going to equal HO minus one degree plus the AO plus the A1 plus the A2 corrections. So that's what we're going to do next. And I'm going to go back to uh, my sheet here, and I'm going to write that in. So my formula for latitude, okay, uh, is going to be uh, latitude equals, I'm going to have HO. All right, minus one degree plus A0 plus A1 plus A2. And when I sum all that, I'll get my latitude, okay? Now, uh, there's going to be one other thing we have to do for this, and that is we're going to have to calculate, uh, we're going to have to convert HS to HO, okay? Because we'll need HO over here. So I'm going to do, here's my HS, my index error, okay? Uh, then I'll get a number. I'll apply my dip to that. Okay, that'll give me my uh, height apparent, okay, my, my apparent height, and then I'll go, uh, uh, and I'll go, then I'll look for my A2 correction, and then I'll have my HO. So this is everything we're going to need to do to solve this problem. So uh, I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to start to extract some data out of the problem. So the date is 3 January, uh, it's 1759 local, 
Okay, so that's right here, 1759 local. Uh, and uh, my DR position is, uh, well, they give me my longitude is about 60, 53.2. Now they didn't, and that's west. They didn't give me my latitude, okay? But it turns out that uh, that your your lat your uh, altitude of Polaris, which is in this case twenty two fifty five point eight, that's pretty close to your latitude. So what I can basically say is that my latitude is approximately twenty three degrees. Okay, so at that time you observed Polaris with a sextant altitude of twenty two fifty five point eight. The chronometer time of the site is 0.95710. And the chronometer is 2 minutes 26 seconds slow. So I'm going to add 226. Okay. And uh, the index error is 2.9 off the arc. So if it's off the arc, I'm going to add it. And my height of I is 52.5 feet. I'll have to look up the, the, uh, the, the, the value for that. Okay, and then the question is, what is the latitude of Polaris? Okay, so first up, let's do this, all right? So if I was to divide 6053.2 by 15, I would get a uh, plus four. That's my zone description. So 17 and um, uh, four is 21, uh, and that would be 2159. Okay, now right off the bat, I can tell you there's a problem because my chronometer is saying 0957. It's 12 hours off. Okay, this is really, oh, this is a digital, this is an analog clock. It's nine o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock at night. In this case, it's nine o'clock at night. And I would have been off by 12 hours if I hadn't done this. So I really have to add 12 hours to that. That's going to be 21. And then I can do this math over here. Uh, uh, I'm going to take these minutes and seconds, but I'm going to take the hour from here. So uh, when I do my math there, that becomes 21.59.36. Okay, that's my GMT time. So with that, I'm now going to go in, I'm going to get the uh, GHA of Aries. So for that, I'm going to go back to my nautical almanac. All right, and uh, here's my nautical almanac. I got to get back to my, um, uh, uh, here we go. I got to get back to my index. So I want, uh, what did we say we wanted? We wanted uh, January 3rd. So uh, I'm going to go to the January 3rd and uh, the LHA of Aries is over here on the left hand side. So I scroll down over here. Okay, I'll zoom in just a little bit. All right, great. And uh, so the time that I'm looking for is 21, 21 hours. So that's right here. All right, there's 21 hours right there. So that is 5823.5. All right, and that's going to go right here, 58, 23.5. And now I got to get my minutes and seconds corrections from the back of the book. All right, so to do that, uh, I'll go back and I'm going to go to that proper page. All right, so uh, let me just zoom normal here and I'll go to the index and I got all my corrections here. So um, according to my calculations, I need 59 minutes, 36 seconds. So I'm going to come down here, and there it is. So here's the 59 page, and I'm going to go down to 36 seconds. So here's 59, here's Aries. I'm going to go down this column until I get to 36, right? So here's 36, there's that column, and there's my correction, 14 degrees, 56.4 minutes. So that goes back. Now we go back to our, our worksheet. So that's going to go here, 14 uh, what was that? 1456.4. So now I'm going to sum those. And when I do that, I will get, uh, 72, uh, 79.9. Okay. Now at this point, you might be tempted to rearrange this and you certainly can. You can take 60 from here. That would be 73, 19.9, but, uh, I'm going to be subtracting West longitude. Okay. So this is West. So I'm going to be subtracting. And uh, if, I, if I was to, to, to do that, I'd have to borrow it back. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to stick the 60, 53.2 in here now. And when I do that, uh, what I should get by doing that um, uh, uh, math is I should end up getting 12, 26.7. Okay, 12 degrees, 26.7. That's the LHA of Aries. All right. 
Uh, great. And I'm going to use that to go into the table to get these numbers. More on that in just a second. Let's finish this. So HS, my index error was 2.9. So uh, that should end up being uh, 22, uh, 58.7. All right. And my uh, now we're going to go do our dip. So uh, I just got to go to the next page here. All right. So uh, here it is right here. And I'm going to zoom in. All right. And uh, so um, let me just go back to our calculations for a second. Uh, 52.5 feet. Okay. So I go back over here and I'll look down here for 52.5 feet. And here is, it looks like it's minus seven. So I'm going to write that down on my sheet. All right. So I go back to my work here. So that's going to be minus seven. And uh, when I do that, I should get 2251.7. That's my height apparent. So now I have to go back to that page again with 2251.7 and get my A2 correction. So let's do that. So uh, I'm going for 2252.7. It looks like I'm right here. Here is the little area that I'm going to be doing. Remember, the Polaris is a star. So I'm going to be using the stars and planets. And it looks like my correction is minus 2.3. So that's going to go right here. And when I do all that, I should get an HO of 2249.4. Now that is going to be pretty darn close to our latitude, but now we're going to have to make some adjustments to it. Okay. So in order to do that, uh, wait a second, let me get back to my work here. Okay. So uh, that was uh, seven. Uh, uh, my A2 correction was 2.3. And then that gave me 2249.4. Great. So that's done. That's my HO. Now I'm going to have to do this. So now I'm going to take this 2249.4 and I'm going to go like this, 2249.4. And the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract one from that. Okay. So that's that. Now I got to get my A0, A1, and A2. In order to do that, I have to go back to uh, table, um, uh, the table uh, on page 274. All right. So uh, you, we got to keep track of a couple things. Our HO is 2249, great. So we're going we're gonna to do some, uh, some arithmetic with that. But uh, my LHA is 1226. It's December, it's January. So I'm going to need this. LHA is 1226. It's January. And also my approximate latitude is about 23 degrees. So I'm going to need all that information to go into that table. So let's go take a look at that table now. All right, so uh, page 274, here it is. Okay, so now let's take a look. I'm gonna zoom in on this side. So my LHA of Aries, okay, was 1226.7. So I'm gonna start going through here, LHA of Aries, and this is zero to nine, this is 10 to, to 19. So 12 is gonna be in this column. So this is gonna be my first column. Now. It wasn't 10, it wasn't 11, it was 12, uh, 26.7. So here's how this works. This line here is for 10. This line here is for 10 plus 1, that's 11. This line here is for 12. This line here is for 13. So I have 12, 26.7. So that means I'm between, I'm in this column, and I'm between 12 and 13. So I'm going to do a little bit of interpolating in there. And when I do that, um, uh, I should get an A0 correction of about 12.9, okay? So my A0 correction is 12.9. So that is going to go over here. But, but let's go take just one more quick look at that. It's not just, it's 12.9 minutes. It's 0 degrees 12.9 minutes. So I'm going to record that over on my sheet, all right? So it's zero degrees, 12.9 minutes. Okay, great. Now I'm going to get my A1 correction. My A, for my A1 correction, I need to know what my latitude is. My latitude is approximately 23 degrees. So I go back. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to stay in the same column. And my latitude is 23. Well, that's between 20 and 30. They're both 0.6. So my correction, A1 correction is going to be uh, 12 point, uh, is going to be 0.6. So that's going to go over here. That is uh, 0 degrees, 0 0.6 minutes. Okay, great. Now, for my A2 correction, I need to know the month. 
my month is January. So I go back to the table. I scroll down to the third table. So this is the month table. I go to this column. It's January, and it looks like the correction is 0.7. So I'll go back to my worksheet, and 0.7 is what I'm going to put right here. That is 0, 0 0.7. And now I will subtract 1, and I'll add all these up. And when I do all that, you're going to get a latitude of 21, 63.6, which, when I rearrange it, is 2203.6, and that is uh, north, okay? And uh, that is that.